Arsenal may no longer be the banter team, you know. Right, hello there everyone, welcome back to James Redmond TV and welcome to another Redmond Roundup, trying to increase the Redmond Roundups, because man, just for that intro alone, I think we've got a bang and show, bang and show, amazing. Today we're talking about Arsenal, we're here to talk about, I've talked, I've spoke about Arsenal a lot, not a lot, a couple of times over the past year or two, I do a lot on streams when I get asked questions, but in the main, I'm just mainly, one on one video, probably twice. Three times. I've always spoke them in high praises. I, I like the players. I like the structure. I like the players that they're buying besides Kai Havertz. I think he's still terrible. Arteta, the Lego man, great guy. Um, and even the fan base seem better. Like, Because you've got to understand my perception. Growing up, I thought Arsenal fans were terrible. And they compare themselves to us. I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yous are really, really quiet. You absolute terrible people. How dare you compare yourselves to an elite fan base like Liverpool? But then I realised that it was... Probably due to the fact that they've been really, really bad for years, not really get, been getting, you know, value for money based on performances. And I also know it's very expensive there. I went to Tesco, get on this, £5.50, meal deal, meal deal. Now let's analyse what the word deal means. A deal means that I'm getting something decent. I'd like to think so. And, and, and notoriously, the historical or the historicity of meal deals suggests that it's less than 5 50 and London's absolutely trying to shift one up people's backsides. Pause. It's a fucking big shame. How dare inflation even real meal deals. You know what I mean? I watched the video about this de gentleman in the 70s and he was talking about how sugar is 26 and a half p. Money like, one pence was worth so much back in the day that they had to make a half. Fucking crazy. Anyway, um, Arsenal, will they win the league? Will they bottle the league again? Can they do it? First of all, great win against City. And I think the performance was... I thought it was a boring game. I didn't think it was great. But they got the result. Now, let me compare Arsenal. <coughs> I don't like doing this. Because Liverpool was a very elite team. And I don't think Arsenal have shown to be that team. So let me take you back to Liverpool's team... Uh, where we won the league and we got 99 points and prior to COVID the league was already wrapped up the league was wrapped up by December everybody knew this the best start of the Premier League ever crazy um, that team ended up getting 99 points but one thing I'll say and I'll argue this is that the team the year before where we won the Champions League and finished second by a point that team for me was more exciting better on the eye better defensively better scoring but next season we were a results team all the draws were turning into wins, and the, the wins didn't just happen when we were above City. The win, the wins kept on going. We found an efficient way of playing that got results in Arsenal. They might not be doing as much of the, you know, tiki taka Brazilian big tits, but they are doing the, the, the iron and board. You know what I mean? Like a little one of these. The basics, basically. And I think these are the basics. Scoring goals and not conceding goals. Now, without trying to call me Michael Owen, I think that that's a very, very nice way to win the league. Scoring goals and not conceding goals. And Arsenal are doing that. They kept a clean sheet against City. That's very impressive. <clears throat> but on the contrary, they have played quite bad in games. You know, Tottenham kind of... Whoop! And, and, you know, we got shafted by Tottenham, so I'm not really trying to be thingy. But I'm just saying Tottenham... Whoop! You know what I mean? That wasn't a great game. And then also, there's been... I think there was the Burnley game where they drew or they didn't play great. And even games that they've won... Not great performances, but they are efficient. They are getting results. Even Man United. I remember the Man United game. Arsenal never played too well, but they got the business. And they've had some big games. They've had Tottenham, United, City. Very difficult start of the season. And one thing Arsenal have became experts at doing is fisting the little teams. And that's what they do really, really well. And I think, do you know what? Fair play to you is like... You get the little teams out of the way and, and then it's the, it's the big teams that you've struggled against. But this season, you've seen to found a little a little plaster, a little solution, basically. And I think the players are really starting to instill that mindset that we need to win these games if we want to go and win more trophies. So if you're an Arsenal fan, I'd be heavily intrigued to know your point of view. And do you think you can win the league title? Now, if I was to bet my house on it, probably not, because I even think we're better than yours. But that's only based on recent history. You know what I mean? And I like Sobosly. This is where Arsenal fans don't like me no more. Because the Premier League isn't the only thing that solely determines 
whether a player is good or not. I make the claim that Dominic Sobersly is better than Odegaard, and people go, oh my God, James, you're a twat, and you're the biased. Hear me out. Just because one's done it in the Premier League for a little bit, and then one dude smashed it in the Bundesliga, doesn't mean the Premier League guy automatically wins on merit. Kai Havertz is not better than Dominic Sobersly, and he's been in the Premier League longer. Oh, by the way, he scored a Champions League final goal for your rivals. Um... Sobersly is clear of both, you'll notice this all in due course. But I'm the man with the football knowledge. I predicted so many things about Arsenal over recent time. I predicted the season. Do you remember when we knocked us out the League Cup? I remember, I remember predicting that perfectly right. I said, we draw the first game, we'll smash it in the second. Diogo Jota battered you in that McDonald's kit. So, ah And then, of course, you fast forward to the... Uh, you know, last season, I thought that you'd fall short. But I thought you were doing really well, and I thought you had a good shout, so... I've called a few things right. Do I think you'll win the league this season? Probably not. Do I think you can put up a good shout? Absolutely. Why? Because they're a very good team and they play very good football. Um, and Arsenal fans, please do let me know in the comments down below what your perception is of the team. Because I know you aren't playing as well, but you're getting results and that's what's most important. You'd rather get loads and loads of wins in an efficient manner than doing it in a very silky way, but getting a few less wins, you get what I'm saying? And I, and I do want to start doing more of these Premier League videos so a bit of encouragement in the comments down below would be great whether you don't like my opinion you like my opinion you like my hair you don't like my hair let it know in the comments down below it's genetic you know what i mean i mean i suppose hair even though it's genetic that the way you style your hair isn't genetic i'm here calling arteta lego man i'm giving him a run for his money here by the way hairline out to 10 because i'm saying it's a fucking 11 you know what i mean um Oh yeah, that's 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 atrocious. But you know what though? Not that bad. I don't like this. This is a little bit too Lego head for me. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't look blended in enough. But otherwise, I am looking like a, the lean mean Kool-Aid machine, yeah? And that's what we do out here, yeah. By the way, are you gonna be going to Dublin if you if we get to the Europa League final? I think that'd be fucking amazing. But Arsenal did lose to Lens, so they could get relegated to the Europa League. Nah, no, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. They've got Sevilla in their group. Sevilla will probably get down to the Europa League. That bastards. Wouldn't it be great if we got Sevilla in a rematch Champions League, sorry, Europa League final? Because we're not in Champions League. And we played Sevilla. This man up, Murphy, I mean. Um, stupid guys, fam. It was Unai Emery who fucked us that season as well. What the fuck, Unai? You know what I mean, lads? Couldn't even... Chat. I think Liverpool... Need to get back in Champions League. I think we're we're allowing Manchester United to ruin everybody else's time and ours. And theirs. They really do. And I said this prior to the season. If you're a regular avid watcher of James Redmond TV, you'll realise I said Manchester United are absolutely stale eggs when it comes to Champions League football. And by the way, it's not even close to Liverpool's heritage. Did you know that we've won more Champions Leagues than all of the Premier League teams combined? In fact, no. That's not true no more. Here's why. City won one. So that means all of the top six, sorry, top six, not Premier League teams, all of the top six combined have six Champions Leagues. We do as well, so... <laughs> Arsenal contribute to none of those, right? I'm losing subscribers as we keep speaking. Anyway, thank you for watching. Smash a like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Let me know if you like the Redmond Roundups as well. Because they're amazing. And that intro tune is just boss, let's be honest. Let's be transparent. By the way, do you see the way my eyes go friggin' huge when you, when you do this? My glasses, I am blind as fuck. Do you want to see a, Do you want to see what I see? Do you want to see what I see? Let me show you what the fuck I see, and you'll understand how blind I'm. I was like, yo, James, you're not blind. I'm blind. Get on this. Right, look at that. Look at that. That one's fine. This one, though. No. What? The glasses are... The... I mean, to be fair, I suppose everyone eyesight's different, so maybe this isn't an accurate representation of what you'd be seeing, but... Yeah, if you looked out at these, it'd hurt your eyes. Do you know when you put somebody's glasses on and you're like, whoa? It's like that. I'm going on holiday for two days, right, because, little secret, been speaking to a girl recently, past couple of months, it's been about her, keep that on the down low, you know what I mean, but we're going we're gonna to go away, so I don't know how many videos I'm going to do over the course of the next two days, uh, but I hope it's loads, <coughs> yeah, but it might be none, if it's none, you know what I'm doing, just wingman me, bruv, you know what I mean, fucking hell, anyway, thank you for watching, <gasps> like, subscribe.